I thought it'd be funny if you had Christopher Walken narrate or something. Next time on Dragon Balls, <laughs> Goku goes Super Saiyan. <laughs> Followed by an all-new episode of Naruto, worst ninja ever. He dresses in orange. So it could work, right? I mean, I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Exciting times. So, yeah, man. Um, being a part of this crazy phenomenon of uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, they're starting to come in. They're starting to come in. This is good. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stage, Ian Sinclair and Damian Clark and Josh Martin. Yeah, we got Quiz. We got Sal! We got Margin Boo! Yeah! <laughs> Do you guys have the post food coma? Is that is that oh. Is it on? Sound boo 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 boo. Here we are. We have been enjoying the delicious foods of Corpus Christi. Oh, that's awesome. The fish here! Oh my god, the fish. Fan friggin' tastic, man. All right. What can you say about the fish other than they've got it? Hey, you can do what you do. You do have fish. <laughs> hey, I'm from Dallas. We're landlocked. Cool. So, yeah. Uh, they know who I am. They know when I got my start. But let's go down the line here. Who's who? How do we all get started on this fancy Dragon Ball show? What's up, y'all? My name is Josh Barton. <laughs> A.K.A. Fat Boo, Evil Boo, Kid Boo. All that boo shit. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all motherfucking boos. What's going on? How, any kids in the audience today? Any children? No. Children, I'm talking like infants, babies, anything like that? No? Good, so we can swear. Yeah? Good? Awesome, because Josh can't stop swearing. He's like a Tourette's thing almost. It's really almost uncomfortable. <laughs> He's, he's, you can't hear it, but he's doing it now. Uh, I'm Damian Clark, I'm the voice of Sailor Moon, and I am the narrator on Dragon Ball Z. Over to you! I thought that was you. Good luck following Sailor that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ian Sinclair, and I've been a fanboy of Dragon Ball Z since I was a kid, and now I'm the strongest one in there. Woo! Woo! I play Whis. Eric Vale will be here at some point when he decides the trunk should show up. This is apparently now. Uh, hi, I'm Vic Mignogna. <laughs> or Eric Vale. Uh, just take a pick, really. Really? <laughs> like Guantanamo like Bay lights up here. on CSI. These lights are pretty bright. <laughs> So, I'm Eric Vale, I play Trunks on Dragon Ball Z. I also play the tournament announcer on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, come on, he should, be, he should, he should get a lot more respect than that. So, that's what I do. Can I go? Whatever. I know you got something in you, man. Here's, what are you doing? I know you got I it. I came in the door. I said it before. <laughs> Never let the mic magnetize me. No more but it's bite me, bite me, bite me to rock. I can't hold it back. I look for the line, taking off my coat, just clearing my throat. The rhyme will be kicking in oh, till shit. I hit my last note. <laughs> I knew it! Majin Boo, everyone! <laughs> What's up? How we doing? That's what I'm talking about. What are we doing here tonight? Everything. Oh. Yeah! Everyone. Let's Everything. start the dance off right now. Oh, the yeah. Dance man. off. 
Josh just dropped some beats, so y'all get up. Drop that molly. Drop, drop, drop. Drop that molly. Drop that molly. Say it like boo. <laughs> we just wrote that. Oh my god. You guys don't know this, but Josh Martin is funny. It's true. And uh, you remember? You remember Section 8? Are you guys still doing that, by the way? No. Hey, sunglasses. Are you still doing? We are not doing Section 8 anymore, but that's how I got discovered. Fuck, am I the only one not wearing sunglasses right now? <laughs> are you guys just like instant douchebags? <laughs> I don't even live in Los Angeles, that's the funny thing. But you guys, Josh uh, uh, is one of the funniest people I or you will, or anybody will ever meet, and they, were, they did this uh, uh, comedy troupe in, in Dallas called Section 8 with Mike McFarland, who is also a Dragon Ball person. Uh, Chris Rager, who is also uh, a voice actor I'm sure you're all aware of. Anyway, man, I used to love coming and watching your shows, man. Thank you, brother. It was yeah. fun. And there was a fight that broke out one night, remember that shit? A couple of nights. That yeah. Happened. Yep. Every time you invite Damien to the show. Oh. <laughs> Damien likes to fight back. people. They were they were doing a show and they this girl and her friends and they just wouldn't stop talking and I turned around and went shut the fuck up and the boyfriends were like oh no way man no way so they followed me to the bathroom and I'm in there and this guy kicks open the stall door like he's Chuck Norris. <laughs> He's like, you can't talk to my girl that way. And I'm like, your friend, it's my friends on stage. You guys are being disrespectful. Anyway, it blows up. I'm in the hallway and Josh comes in and he's like, what's up? And you, you were like right in there, buddy. It was like Roadhouse. <laughs> Time to go. Move yeah. it. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, nobody fucks with my friend Damian Clark, period. <laughs> Boom. Except me. Except for Eric Vale, who's also my friend. Then they fuck with each other and I make a movie. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we're having fun. <laughs> Over to you, Kyle. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's up? <laughs> so, Dragon Ball Z. We've been doing this a long ass time. I guess the newest person to our crew would technically be Ian, who made your debut as Whis in Battle of Gods, yeah? Yes. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, it was really neat. I, I've been watching- Put him back on. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm Eric Vale. Blah, blah, blah. I wear sunglasses in a room at night. Blah, blah, blah. These are my friends. In all fairness, it is daytime on this <laughs> right up here. I can see you only due to the glasses. Um, to answer your actual Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> it since I had a root canal when I was a kid and my brother was like we're watching Dragon Ball Z and I go what and he goes we're watching it and we watched like a half a season and I was like well they're gonna fight and I was addicted and 
The answer was nope. <laughs> it's a lot of shaking and yelling. <laughs> You, 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 the fight happens in, episode, in season three. <laughs> Did you? No. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. You, what? You want to know what I was watching when I was a kid? Yeah, you were watching it was like the, the Cell Saga. Saga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's why he idolizes me. It's like a terror saying. It's the whole night he's been gazing at me like this. Smelling. He smells. I smell like pine. Like pine forest. Like pine. Like pine and success. Yeah. <laughs> I don't smell like that. <laughs> I don't know, it was, it was really cool, and, and uh, I, was, I was honestly slightly sad that I didn't get to fight uh, anybody but Beerus in the first movie, and then the fact that I got to fight Goku and Vegeta in the second one was just about the height of my career. Just being able to fight Goku and Vegeta. I would love to fight you. I would love to fight you. <laughs> I've been telling him since I was... Oh, God. It did. So I've been going to cons since I was young, and I went and got his autograph at cons. Someone has to! <laughs> Damien! Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Sorry. Whatever, I like Kyle and I like Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, no, it's great. No, I, I'm... Come on. How long so is when I was panel? playing Trunks when I used to play the old games, because Final Flash could just, like, decimate everything. Uh, it's a triangle thing. You do that all the time. It's, it's great. What else? Uh, future dance. Future dance. Great, great, great. great, 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 great. No, I like. I, I always liked Future Trunks. I don't know. There's something about it. It was no. And I, we've been over this. Like, and I think a part of it was because it was like it was like a Terminator thing. It was coming back from the future to save and like. And I was that age, and so like he was the one I did, and I had the same haircut, which did you're not look good. You're making me feel so old right now, dude. Yeah. Like, not even that young. You're like 33, and I feel oh. like I'm 60 now. 31, but you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not that much. I couldn't have like I can't be your dad. I'm not that old. Please. Am I your dad? <laughs> Ask your mom. I don't know. Eric, what do you think about? What do you think about it? Her her mom. What? Seriously? What, ha what, what happened? Dragon Ball Z, how did you start? Oh, this is a good story. <laughs> Dragon so Ball Z, how did I get my start? Yep. Oh! I was just working on a fishing boat. <laughs> I was acting, and I got an audition, and they said, play this role, and I said, okay. And then 16 years later, I'm sitting here. <laughs> You're welcome for that riveting, riveting story. That's kind, that's kind of it. Josh. I screwed up my microphone. Josh! <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to just... <laughs> <laughs> Just pop on that. Uh, how I got started, I got started doing a comedy troupe, like Damien was talking about, uh, Mike McFarland. And Chris Greger and I were in a comedy troupe together, and I was doing, uh, one of the characters I did was the Pillsbury Homeboy. Funny, <laughs> funny man. Uh, Can you do a bit of that right now, or do you need backup? So uh, the, basically, backstory is Pillsbury Doughboy gets jumped by the Keebler Elves on his way home one day <laughs> after school, and that was the final straw that broke the camel's back and turned him into a gangster rapping <laughs> Doughboy. <laughs> Nothing says loving like the blocks I be tossing. <laughs> Yeah. Check, check one, two. I'm from the bakery. Right off the block, Pillsbury getting funky with what's in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> what's my mother fucking name? <laughs> the Pillsbury Homeboy. Watch. <laughs> Holler in 187 with my dough in your mouth. <laughs> Which begat Majin Buu? 
I miss I miss that. I miss those days. So good. Uh, Damien! Who's next? Just say my name really loudly. Damien! Oh my god. <laughs> Eric got me. Eric's Eric's fault. Eric. He used to have a different last name too. It was Noise Vale. I'm just gonna say that. Um, Eric Vale got me into Dragon Ball Z. We did a film together, and he was like, "You sound like an evil green monster. You should audition for Cell." Pretty much. Yes. It's, it's, it's true. It's literally he said that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, what is this? It? Are we tapped out now? Are these the whole the good things that we have to say? Is this? Are we just there's one girl on her phone right now texting her mom. That's how. That's how enthralled she is in what we have to say right now. How is your mom, by the way? Tell her I said what's up. <laughs> She'll know what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Kyle. How red is your face getting right now? Can you feel it turning red? <laughs> come on, come on, stage. <laughs> so Kyle, oh, Kyle Abear. How did you get into Dragon Ball? Kyle TV. Oh, I was telling these people before I got into Dragon Ball Z. I was a fan first, watching it before Toonami, uh, and then I was a DJ on Radio Disney from '96 to 2005. You were just DJing a strip club in Dallas for a while too, weren't you? In a strip club? I thought about it. Yeah, it's good money. Close. It's good money. Yeah. At the fair. Yeah. Did you really? Honestly, is that true? I applied, <laughs> and then I changed my mind. <laughs> this wasn't at the same time as Radio Can you imagine it being a strip club DJ? That'd be fucking awesome. I just want to point out, growing up in Dallas, I heard about the fair when I was a kid, and it's like a, it's a circus-themed strip club. The thing that you would get audition to be in is a circus-themed strip club. Think about it. Go there. Right, so. I was only working part time and then not getting by, so I thought, all right, I'll work in a club. I don't really want to do this sort of thing, but I will. And I ended up just telling them no. They call the next night, going, "Where are you? You're supposed to be here." I, I, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not supposed to be there. So then, fast forward. I forget when this was. This is later. After I get hired by the Walt Disney okay. Company, I'm working on the air with Kara Edwards doing a team show. She is the voice of Fidel and Goten. We both hear about auditions at Funimation through uh, some people at our promotions department because they wanted to say, what is the biggest thing on TV right now? We want to give away things to the kids. So we went in an audition, August of 2000, and eventually uh, got hired for big parts on the Bardock special was the first thing I was heard on. And then uh, I, took her, uh, I took the team Gohan thing that started a couple of months after that. In which you did a fine job, sir. Thank you. Thank yes. you. That's right. No, you can, you can applaud that. Don't be, don't be weird about it. Like, I think everybody should give that up. You know what I mean? You in the white shirt, especially, because you've just been phoning. You know who I'm talking about. You've been phoning it in since you got here. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it you were is. just about to say something. What was it? It is Q&A. How much time do we have? That's a good question. Uh, it's listed to last till 11. That's not going to happen, though. <laughs> There's I no way. We signed and talked. We've been me. signing all in day. Like, how do we go to 11? That's, that's, yeah. we're, not, we're not Terminators. I, I don't know. I'm a Terminator. I'm a Terminator. No, that's true. He keeps going. Do you want to open it up? Do you want to open this shit up? Because there's a lot of people here, so maybe we should do that. Is there a microphone that people can use, or do they want to just belt their chest stuff out? We got one right here, another mic. Chet, Chet. All right, it's question and answer time. These guys don't know what the hell they're doing. Okay. <laughs> question time. Who's got the first question? You, speak. Stand up and scream. Raise your hand, he's coming to you with a microphone. Oh, there you are. Check one, two. Hi. Uh, I'm sure you got you. Apparently, I totally screwed that up. Uh, and we don't believe in ladies we're first. Standing. We're just going to hand this guy a mic. We're ready for anything at this point. Uh, I I'm sure some of you guys get this a lot, but uh, thoughts on Team Four Star and their Ridge series? Uh, they're, they're great. They're nice guys. It's hilarious. Yeah, I actually, like guys. Nice guys. We like it. They're funny. I just did a convention. Oh, we gotta with those give guys, it to right? her. I called on her. The eyes. The 
I, I, just, I just hung out with those guys in Connecticut. What was the best part about yeah, Dragon Ball Z? What? What was the best part about y'all acting in Dragon Ball Z? Cha-ching! <laughs> Can everyone agree? All right, yeah. I got to spread my wings as an actor. <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty small, a little tiny, but they're beautiful. I, I got to beat up Goku and Vegeta. That's, that's pretty much the best part. That was awesome. I, no, no, I'm not even, no, I mean. Are you having a stroke right now, or uh, are you okay? <laughs> if you don't know, if someone's having a stroke, have you lift up their You gotta keep an eye. If he doesn't get the right amount of like glucose and like, blood sugar and what, you just start. You do that, and it's intense. So I gotta keep an eye on there. Ready? Yes. Okay. What was your favorite scene, like of all time, to record or voiceover or act, whatever? Um. <laughs> That was so well worded. <laughs> Hired. Uh, my, I think my favorite one uh, was when uh, I turned the city into my house, and, and me and Hercule lived together. As you do. We used to. We 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 were really friends. <laughs> and uh, and in the in the scene, uh, I'm taking a bath and I'm getting all washed up and everything, and then all of a sudden it cuts to the scene of. Something plopping out of the top of the, but it's toothpaste. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. What did you think it was? I thought it was rainbow-colored toothpaste. <laughs> that was my favorite. How about you? Did you set a full-on double rainbow toothpaste thing? I double happened. Double. My favorite part was beating the fuck out of trunks, man. What's up? <laughs> How's that feel? You feel that? <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> he didn't like it, but I did. Uh, so, I guess my favorite part would be <laughs> killing Cell. Oh, you always got to one-up me. Oh, oh, and then my other favorite part would be killing Damien Clark. <laughs> Which will happen later tonight. <laughs> How many times is that, though? Seriously, if you're killing me now, it's like just... Well, there's a lot of threats. <laughs> he goes downstairs, he's like, well, I'm Clark, I lost my room key, blah, blah, blah. He comes into my room and he's always got like a knife or something and I wake up just at the last minute. I'm always tired. I stopped listening and he goes downstairs. <laughs> Whatever. I feel like you're gonna ask me for my driver's license and registration. Yeah, you, you know, right you now. Look like an asshole. asshole. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you look kind of like Jim Morrison. Oh, that's better than a cop, actually. Yeah. I mean, I mean, look at him. He's kind of sexy. <laughs> Jim Morrison or Ian? No, 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 Ian, Ian. Jim Morrison. Horrible looking. Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> that's not true. Who else has got a question? I did. Oh, oh. Ooh, they got an answer. So sorry. So. Um, Love y'all. Wait, 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 they haven't finished answering, I'm so sorry. I don't know, uh, being in it, kicking those guys' asses, those are awesome. All right. A favorite scene is actually not Gohan, it's a bit part character called the Ice Cream Parlor Guy. Majin Buu, oh, yeah. Josh walks in and orders ice cream, and, like, and then Chris Sabat, the director, goes, just come up with whatever voice, so I gave him Forrest Gump. Hi, uh, we have 14 flavors of ice cream. <laughs> hey, you gotta pay for that! That was the most fun I've had. Right there. No one's asked me to sign anything. It's like, ice cream guy! <laughs> Waiting for it. Someone's gonna have to screen cap it, print it out, bring it to the con. I'll say, that's my favorite role. <laughs> Alright, so we got... There's a boo out there. Yes. Oh, oh my. Standing in the door. Don't look now, but here I come. Boo in the house. That's dedication, folks. Nice work. All right, who's next? Question. 
Again, first of all, I gotta say, I love y'all guys in a non-sexual harassment way, so yeah. Yeah. I just let y'all know. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Um, how, how hard was doing the power-ups? Like, was that intense for y'all when doing the shouting, the yelling, the kamehameha all of that? And like, was that very brutal for y'all? I, I just want to come out there before they answer, because they actually have a good answer for that. When I was doing my la when I was doing Resurrection F, uh, Sabbath pointed out to me I'm the only person to successfully fight Goku and Vegeta and not lift my voice past this. <laughs> I didn't have to yell at all. It was amazing because you go in there and because Chris Sabbath is directing you and he's Vegeta. If Vegeta tells you, "Hey man, or, hey man, um, you can totally like scream for like 30 seconds," you have to like say. Because with all some directions, you go, no, you can't. You do it. And but Sabu would go, all right, I'll do it. So you have to like, and I and I say this being I've been in a couple of the video games, and like you have to be able to do those power ups and bring it because your director is Vegeta. So I mean, you got to be able to represent. I didn't have to. It was awesome. Ask these guys what it's like. <laughs> So, uh, what was the question? What was it like doing the power-ups and yelling? Oh, yeah. Ask Sean Schimmel who passed up. Ow. I did too, I passed up. Woke up on the floor. Did you? Did you wake up on the floor? Yeah, I screamed, I passed down, I woke up, I got up, I did it again. <laughs> so, it's kind of like... Totally um, gangster. It's kind of like exercise, <laughs> but with more pizza. <laughs> Could you do that grunt just a little more confused? Like, take, you're not quite sure why this is happening, but if you could just like, if you could just uh, pretend like you're getting blasted by a huge ball of energy, but you're not happy about it, but you are kind of happy about it, but you're sort of confused at the same time. Go ahead. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I liked it, I liked it. Just do it now like you're adopted. Uh, uh. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. That's, That's what it's like actually like working with certain directors of Funimation and I won't mention any names, but they rhyme with Eric Bale. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, they fired him a long time ago. I don't direct anymore, yeah. You used to. I, I used to. You got tired of it. I did. By the way, Eric directed Border was it two or one? Two. Mm -hmm. He directed Borderlands 2. So, no one gives him enough credit for that. Yeah, thank you. What the no, fuck is Borderlands 2? Yeah, I know, right? I don't know. I played Handsome Jacks. So. <laughs> anyway. No, and let me, you know what, real fast, funny story. Let's explain how much credit I don't get for directing Borderlands 2. I was on a panel with Newton Pittman and Chris Sabat. And Newton Pittman, who I cast in Borderlands 2 and directed in Borderlands 2, we were talking about Borderlands 2, and he said on the panel, well, blah, 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 when Chris Sabat was directing me in Borderlands 2, and I'm like... <laughs> and I'm sitting in between them, and I'm looking at Newton, and I'm like... I directed you in Borderlands 2. And he's like, oh. That's what I said, Chris Sabat directed just, me in Borderlands 2. just kept talking. <laughs> I, like, oh, okay. I want to say my favorite bit of direction on Borderlands from job. you was, okay, so just start going, blah, 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 yada, yada. I ate a pillow. Um, go, wiener pillow. <laughs> like, car, bacon, turkey dog. Because all I did was Jimbo Hodunk for when you were directing me, and so it was gibberish, and I would just be going, I was going out, I was going out, and then I would just say whatever he said. And so I'd go, I was gonna, I had a pillow one time. Because Eric would just like put his foot on the thing and just say like some random word and like back off and then put it down in his foot again and give us another couple words to say and then just gibberish in between. It's a lot of fun. That was fun. No, we bonded over that. Didn't we? What? What? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Damien. Jesus. Well, I know. This town's a fucking joke. <laughs> Seriously, man, I'm over it. Next question. 
Who's there? Oh. Am I here? Oh. Oh. Right here. I love Josh. He's like just ready to get after it. Somebody stand up and Come on. Come on. Here. Here Raise are. your motherfucking hand. How you doing? Oh, we got a mic. Whoa. Check one, two, check. How you doing? Anyway. Hey. Who's your number one hottest enemy in the drug of all thieves? Oh, uh, so the question is, who is the number one hardest enemy in Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, so, bitch. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. All three forms, well, I thought were amazing, actually, to be honest. You know what I realized today when I was talking to people in, in cell form? That he kind of sounds like Ron Burgundy a little bit. Yeah. He's like, I gotta be honest with you, um, you have a small, tiny woman brain, and I got, that's science, I look it up, it's scotch, mm. scotch. <laughs> that's how you do it, scotch, so. scotch, scotch, San Diego, take over the world, San Diego, it's Wales vagina. <laughs> <laughs> that's escalated quickly. Over to you, Eric. Oh, most difficult bad guy in Dragon Ball Z? Damien Clark, guy, clearly. No, nothing again? You guys are out. What? No more. Seriously? Wow. Yeah. Alright, so I'm picking. It's so hard to see. It is. I see. That, that woman. Seriously, these lights are really good. Pink hair flipping a thingy like the thing. There! Yeah, uh, now you're pointing. There. Pink hair? Holding now a you're, doll? And you're still holding it up and still questioning the fact that Stand I'm chasing you. You're holding a doll. Stand up. There you go. What are your favorite lines in Dragon Ball Z? Favorite lines in Dragon Ball Z? Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you can apologize to everything. You totally beat me to that. <laughs> Everything. It is like narrate my life. Like Johnny goes to take a pee. <laughs> how about how about this one? Wait till you see my true power. <laughs> well, we're waiting. Come on, like, come on man. I, I I was always partial to. <laughs> that meant so much. God, that hurts. So I think a blue blood vessel up. I think... Okay, is this for our own lines or our favorite in all of Dragon Ball Z? Don't overanalyze it. Okay, fine. Our own lines. I like it when Beerus is all like, Hey, do this. And I'm like, I'm gonna eat sushi, bitch. <laughs> Boo. Uh, I got two. My one is... Uh, And then I guess my, fa my very favorite one is... You think Boo's sexy? <laughs> we, we talked about that when Cell was looking for the end. I was talking to Chuck Huber about this. And then it's like... Where is Huber? Is he is Huber? doing some He's other... He's just a f***. You guys, Android 17. So right? go get Android 17 and bring him here. Go fetch Android 17 and bring him here. <laughs> you with the bunny ears, Scott. Go get, go whatever. Just go get him. So there was an episode, I don't know, not an episode, like 40 episodes where Saul was looking for the androids and he was just screaming at islands. Do you remember that? <laughs> I know you're down there. Come out. And I'm like reading this shit for fucking four days, and I'm like, when is Cell going to find the android? Seriously, I can't keep doing this anymore. Android 17, am I? Like, well, see, if you know you're down there, then just go get him. That's what I said. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. He knows. Somebody pick somebody to love. All right, what's going on, guys? Oh, this oh, dude, right. this dude, this dude is tatted, man. He has got some Dragon Ball shit going on. You, yeah. His back and his leg, he's got, he's got me on his leg. I mean, my tatted picture of a thing. Do you want to, you, you could come up here if you want. 
it's going to be tough to see the tats from here, but this dude has dedicated hours to this, and, and they look badass. Come on, just take all your clothes off, man. His whole back is like freaking, what is it? Is it Super Saiyan Gohan or Super Saiyan what? Broly. My bad. You gotta hit the gym, man. You are fat. <laughs> I don't want to be a dick about it, but... Uh, so his whole back is, is Broly. Oh! What? Yeah, it's intense and it's good work, too. It's really good work. That's insane. Oh, it's so cool. And he's got Cell chill in there, which oddly looks like my face. It does, it's weird. Uh, what else you got going on, dude? He's got the universe on his legs. <laughs> Wait, what's, who's that, who's that? That's Broly again? You got a bit of a thing for Broly. Who's is that? that? Street Fighter? Yeah. That is Street Fighter, isn't it? You got Videl, like, right there. <laughs> nice, weird, but whatever, it's cool. I got it. <laughs> right on. Uh, what was it like working with uh, Bruce Bautner and bringing out the characters of uh, Dragon Ball Z? Who? Bruce oh, well, uh, yeah, well, Bruce. Uh, we don't really get to work with Bruce. I mean, Bruce does everything at the back end. Bru what's it like working with Bruce Faulkner? The guy who did the music. Oh, oh. Exactly. So that's the kind of thing. Everyone's like, oh, who's Bruce? We don't know. Yeah, he sits at home and like turns that shit out. And then... Yeah, well, Bruce, uh, he's got a studio. It's over by. Uh, but uh, the What's that thing is with us and working with other people, it's usually the way that we are, we do we do dubs is it's just us, the director, and an engineer, and a, a quiet room. And so because of that, like I've been in multiple shows with Eric and Kyle, and I have never watched them work. I only watched Eric work because I directed him. But like unless you do that, you don't you don't see each other. Watching you know? Eric work is like watching old people have sex. <laughs> Why? I'm taking <laughs> Why? Hot, hot, because old people. <laughs> because it's dark and there's two old people wriggling around in a room somewhere? I don't know how to answer that. It's like, and there's John Tesh playing in the background. Always. <laughs> Half you kids. It smells like Big Gay. I don't know. <laughs> Stop this. Next question. Yes, I saw you stand up in the back with the striped shirt. You got a, you got a microphone and you yell. Who's second? What's your favorite thing about Gohan? Go. Favorite thing about Gohan? Job security. <laughs> uh, no, man, he's like, he's, he's badass, but he's mostly a dork, and I can re definitely relate to the dork aspect of him. Um, Obviously, he, his journey is very interesting to watch from when, you know, he's a kid, the beginning of the saga, and then he grows up, and like I was saying before everyone else showed up about how intriguing it was to watch characters actually grow up and meet their, their life companions and get married and have kids and watch their kids' journey and everything. It was really cool to see all that stuff. Chuck is gone. He left. Chuck Hilbert is no longer Chuck checked out. He chopped her out. Oh. He up chopped. <laughs> okay, well, well that's very sweet of you. Thank you. Sorry, Kyle. Go ahead. Oh, no, that was it. That was, that was basically it. Thank you for your question, sir. Uh, I don't know. Are you Harry Potter? I can't really see it from here. Uh, you in the back. What, you were like a white, white thing with a collar. You got like white gloves on. You got it. Come on, baby. That's it. You got to get left to the back sometimes. You know what I mean? Um... If you guys could party with any Dragon Ball Z villain ever, uh, who would it be and why? It sounds like a... If you could party with any Dragon Ball Z villain, who would it be? And that's a great question, by the way. It's not like, oh, what's it like screaming? We, no, no offense to whoever asked that question. That's a good question. But um, that's a great question. Oh, Do you uh, count Beerus? Okay, if he's the villain, then him, because we're going to keep eating really well. <laughs> Eric, what do you think? If I could party with any DBZ villain... It don't, nobody say Cell, because you know Cell would have too much to drink, no, 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 and no, no, he would no. just start punching people, 
Yeah. And he yeah. built a ring in the middle of the room. He's like, everybody, just come on, let's fight. And whoever wins gets a 12 pack of beer. Tell to death. Yeah, Cell would have too much to drink. And by Cell, you mean Cell the character, not me. That's right, that's right. what I mean. So, I probably party with Boo. I'd probably party with Boo because at least the food would be good. You wouldn't get it. Never go hungry. Right? Yeah. yeah. I I definitely. What's that? What if you became the food? Oh, well. But that that's, wasn't the question. That's weird. Yeah. That's that's like a secondary question. That's like a part B to the question. And I'm not answering part B to the question. Mainly because I didn't eat a whole lot of dinner and I'm still a little hungry. I, Why I did everyone get myself? Sad? <laughs> I party with myself. <laughs> All right, you with the hand up and the white glove and you're sitting right with pigtails and stuff going on. I don't know what's happening. It's awesome. Stand up and ask a question. Not you. You will also have pigtails. I can both see the confusion. Both of you stand up. Ask your both of you stand up. Just both of you stand up and we'll just we'll make it happen. We'll uh, come back to you, Star Wars. All right. My man's got a microphone. Okay. Here we go. Literally, I've been trying to ask this the whole time. I just want to know if one of you guys needs a pair of sunglasses because I have one on my head. You. Who needs a sunglasses? <laughs> but Kyle needs a pair too. If we're going to all wear sunglasses, we can't have like one guy out. It'd be like One Direction all of a sudden up here. <laughs> Everybody's got it. Who else has a pair of sunglasses we can borrow? Yes, please. Thank you. Especially if they're like cat size or something. I don't. Thank you, sweetheart. That is awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Oh! It's <laughs> like prison all over again. <laughs> thank you. That was very. That's very kind of you. Go ahead. It's like a really shitty boy band, isn't it? By Harry Styles. If you could pick up line to say in your character's voice, which pickup line would you choose to say? If we could choose a pickup line in our character's voice, what pickup line would we choose? Uh, so would be like, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> really? Did you hear what he just said? Say it again. Nope. <laughs> it was so good. And I can't, I'm not going to repeat it. You should repeat it. No, because it becomes no. Eric. Eric. Go. Come on, you win! Pick up line. Pick up line. If Trunks had a pick up line, what would it be besides I'm Trunks? I got one. Would you like to find out what happens next time on Dragon Ball Z? Okay, I would do. Um, Okay, so it has to be in our character's voice, though? Yeah. All right. Hi, I'm TV's Chris Sabat. Um, <laughs> did, when did Sabat start sounding like that? No, it's me, Sabat. Sorry, Sabat. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, you right. Sabat, are you going to do it? Uh, yeah, it was just a uh, little... I got drunk on a plane with Sabat, which is weird. Uh, he got us... I'm just, just a real quick story before I forget. <laughs> I have to tell this shit while I think about it because it just goes. Um, we, this is back in the day when, before pre 9 11 shit. And Sabbath was awesome at getting you upgraded. He'd be like, uh, hey, sweetheart, I love your dress. Uh, it looks, you look like a stewardess. And she'd be like, thanks. And then you get upgraded to first class. And Sabbath and I are sitting there, and just when you could like drink on the tarmac before that actual plane took off. And we got a little bit toasted while people were like loading their shit on and we're like rrr, rrr, rrr. and he convinces the students to do all the in-flight announcements oh i remember that <laughs> yeah and he just i mean this is how ridiculous is that now like you can't even 
blink in an airport without somebody just beating the shit out of you. So <laughs> this is like Sammy gets on the phone or the mic or whatever the hell, and he's like, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, not your captain speaking, but uh, you know, if I went to school for pilot stuff, I probably could be. Uh, if you look to your left, you'll see that we haven't taken off yet. If you look to your right, you'll also see that we haven't taken off yet. And he just like, kept going on and on, and we were like half in the bag. And the fucking plane loved it. Like they just ate it up. And the stewardess is like, fuck it, you do it for the rest of the flight. We just got hammered. And so I was like, uh, this is not your cabin speaking again. Uh, if you look to the right, you'll see. Uh, it's night, so not much, but. Uh, free drinks on the guy in 13E. I can't follow that. I just kind of, I just kind of want to get on that plane. I hate flying. Uh, pick up line at trunks as trunks. Um, okay. No, seriously, I'm from the future. I know it's gonna work out. Star Wars is next. She would, if we can go back to Star, yeah, she she was ready a minute ago, and she yeah. There you go. Thank you. Hi guys. Um, What's up? I was wondering who's, in your opinion, the baddest uh, Dragon Ball Z villain. The baddest Dragon Ball Z villain. In my opinion, it's Boo. I love your, Boo. Your opinion is well. Yeah, that's my opinion. I, I think the baddest is probably Cell. Yeah. <laughs> The cutest is definitely food. <laughs> That's my opinion. Eric, you want to talk about something? <laughs> what do I want to talk about? In your opinion, who is the baddest villain in Dragon Ball Z? In your opinion, like who? the naughtiest. What is what? baddest? Are we talking most <laughs> evil or what? most evil? There was no, there was no qualification. Because is naughty. You simply, you Can't simply interpret it yourself. Hmm. Most evil. Mm. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to think about that one. Mm. Most I'm scratching my green head, head right now. Dragon Ball Z. Mm. Dude, you sound like eight people through his tail. <laughs> I'm talking real people, like a businessman and like a mother and a stroller. Like that guy was evil. I dated a guy like that once. <laughs> Actual answer, Frieza. Frieza. Yeah! Suck it. No, okay, because there's the difference. You're just having Suck fun. It. Suck it. He's evil and you're just having fun. There's a difference. <laughs> I'm sorry, sound guy. He's like, that's an omnidirectional mic that I got from Guitar Center that cost me $350, you fucker. <laughs> oh, what do you think, Kyle Bear? Garlic Jr. No one ever says it. I'm, I don't know. He's saying it right now. Yeah, one person clapping. He's saying the it right now. The peaks of the villains. I said Jawa leaving. Whoa, is someone trying to leave right now? See someone walking in. They didn't like the Jar Jar Binks comment. Uh, does that take care of that question? Do it, go. Do it, take it. Okay, they've stopped me and they want me to start the lightning round. Who's got it? Okay, cool. So something that I really like to do at the end of my panels because I learn a lot about myself and it allows uh, other people to get to know me and I think this is going to be really fun with these guys up here too is I like to do lightning round. We want to start answering like a lot of fast questions. So, if you can, what I'd like to do is just once we start it, I'll stay up here and I'll start calling you out. Ask something that they can answer in like one two words. Don't be like, how'd you get into voice acting? Or like, what do you think about apartheid? Or like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something short. So, um, make it like, uh, the, the example I always like to give is, if you had a unicorn, what flavor ice cream would you like it to poop? <laughs> Weird stuff, you'll learn a lot about some of your favorite Dragon Ball Z characters. Now you have a mic, they're sharing a mic. 
I'm just gonna start going. Once the hands stop, we stop. Cool? Cool. Let's start, go. What's your favorite food? Uh, favorite food, uh, Asian noodles and dumplings. Sushi. Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Pizza. Uh, you. Favorite drink? Um, whiskey. Blue Moon. What the first yeah. guy said. Vodka. Don't worry about the mic, I got it, but yeah, you. Alcohol! Alcohol! Are you guys bonded by the power of friendship? Bonded by the power of friendship? You bet your ass. <laughs> Are we bonded by the power of friendship? Sure, why not? Yeah. Until they pay me back. <laughs> Friends are a worthless waste of your time. Family's where it's at. <laughs> Holy shit, that was mad. <laughs> One of my dearest friends, ladies and gentlemen. What's we bonded by power of friendship? Gold bond medicated powder. Damn straight. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Booty or boobies? Booty or boobies? Booty! <laughs> Booty. Damien, booty or boobies? Booty or boobies? Oh, I'm an ass man. <laughs> all about that ass. It is all about that booty, baby. No, it's not. Yes. You can buy tits. Yes. <laughs> what would you rather drink at a whole place? What do we want? Anything sweet. <laughs> do you need a bar? <laughs> Okay, we can drink any liquor. What are our options? You give us three tops. Vodka? Beer? Whiskey. Vodka, beer, whiskey. Whiskey? Jack Daniels, if you please. Oh. Hot Tears milk. of my enemies. Hot milk. <laughs> yeah, people don't play by the rules. Yes. On your mom. Sorry. Next question, um, yes. Okay, since you said chocolate, have you guys seen the parody with the Dragon Ball Z and Boo going, CHOCOLATE! You seen the Dragon Ball Z parody where Boo's yelling chocolate? No! Nope. Okay. nope, 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 all around nose. Next to the bunny ears. Bulma or Chi-Chi? Ooh. Gotta say, I like a strong, well, they're both strong women. I'm gonna go Bulma, why not? Bulma! Drunks. Standards. <laughs> Standards. <laughs> that was so fucking. God bless you. Yes. Superman or Weiss? Superman or Dude, I'm just gonna end it with Weiss. Next question. I'm gonna come out here. Yes. Favorite Pokemon. Favorite Pokemon. Gentlemen? Squirtle. <laughs> Drunks. <laughs> Pants age. <laughs> right, I got some respect for like three people and the rest of you are like... <laughs> All right, person who shouldn't have been here and cursing this whole time, what's your question? What's our favorite video game? Um, the Zelda series. <laughs> uh, Donkey Kong. Poor Lance too, motherfucker, what's up? What? Ba Battlefield. My favorite video game ever is Katamari. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I gotta change that because that was, that was just a typical shitty answer. Uh, 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 Commander Shepard. Yeah. Mass Effect. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yes, sir. Let's go, sir. What would you wish right now if you had the seven Dragon Balls? What would we wish if we had the seven Dragon Balls? We're gonna start with Boo! Chocolate! <laughs> I'm gonna say World Peace, personally. <laughs> I wish that Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey were a couple again. Oh, uh, why can't they work? Why can't love work? I'm a romantic. Death to Kanye. Oh. <laughs> Okay, next question. I wouldn't expect that. 
Round <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Go! Do y'all think Cell is awesome? Because I do. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, do you think Cell is awesome? Uh, yeah! <laughs> I don't care what Damien says. Trucks. What? You think Cell's awesome? Cell. Oh, yeah, kinda. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> She said self. You get a question to me because you've already asked a question, but you're an awesome cosplay, so what's your question? Um, what is your favorite pairing out of all of the Dragon Ball C series? Our favorite pairing? Like romantic? Like, not canon in the series. But are you talking romantic or fighting? <laughs> okay, who do you want to hook up in the series? That, that is what I want to happen in the series. I don't know if we need to answer anymore. Anybody else want anything more than those two making out? No? Cool, next question. Right here. Boxers or briefs? Uh, boxers. Ball of briefs, hello. Ah. Commando! <laughs> Alright, ask your mom. Ooh. Trunks. Trunks. Green Lantern, what do you want to know? Frozen in one position, and what would it be? Oh, I'm Frozen in one position! Frozen, if you are stuck in one position forever, what do you want it to be? 69! <laughs> oh, my God. CEO! Ooh! Fuck, I, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so I'm, I'm just terrified I'm gonna say something so horribly ridiculous right now. Do it. And it has to do with adult it's your mom. Yeah. 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 I'm your mom. Yeah. Next question is: So the zombie apocalypse happens. What's your weapon of choice? Uh, I will make sure to bring bolt cutter, corrugated steel bolt cutters, because I can break in anywhere I need to, and then I can bash things in the head. Next, uh, Boo. What do you think? Zombie apocalypse. Chocolate. <laughs> What about the zombie apocalypse? Zombie apocalypse, what are you bringing? What's your weapon, man? What, what, what's my weapon? What is your weapon of choice? Anya. Your brain. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I'm not even gonna justify it. Hey, hey, you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. No, because I'm gonna- It's the zombie apocalypse. Because Most because people gonna, will. And I will, because I'm gonna oh. hunt you down. Watch the Because of your brain. Because of your brain. Because my big brain, I'm gonna hunt you down. I'm gonna oh. kill you. Oh, and I'm gonna eat you. Oh. And I'm gonna eat you. Oh. 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 I'll be a cannibal. Are you gonna? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Damien, zombie apocalypse, what do you bring? What are you killing zombies with? You know what? It's not gonna be a fucking six gun shooter like. No, that runs out of bullets. Because it's like, oh, I'm gonna shoot, oh, fuck, I'm out of bullets. Because it's zombie apocalypse, there's no bullets. You're gonna run out of bullets. So I'm gonna say machete. Ooh, that's good. That's close range, though. Huh? Go on, old school Bruce Campbell. Chainsaw. <laughs> All right, let's find another question. Towards the back, we've got a Vegeta over here. Why not, bro? What's your question? What if Tien, Yamcha, and Krillin fought Piccolo? Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Uh, no, that's not a two-word uh, two uh, answer. Can't do it, moving on. Goku or Vegeta? Mm, Vegeta. What'd you yeah. say? Goku or Vegeta? Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta. Josh, are you breaking this? Woo! Oh, good call. Yes. How do Bulma and Vegeta keep the romance alive? <laughs> Ooh, how do they keep the romance alive? The Lifetime Channel. <laughs> it's for everyone. <laughs> Open communication and caring. I don't know. Are you guys giving any answers? Cool, next question. Yeah. If you have to switch characters, who would it be? If we could switch characters in Dragon Ball Z, who would it be? I'd be Piccolo. Ooh. Coming up next on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'd want to be Trucks. Boo! Uh, I'd be Hercule. <laughs> the, audience, the audience has had enough of you clearly going, but you recognized it, that's what I like about you. You're like, I gotta switch it up. <laughs> Hercule, guys, and they're like, thank you, Josh, we knew you had something else in you. We still got hands, so we still got questions. Which question? Super Saiyan Krillin, response. Super, yes, next question. 
Pikachu. Uh, panty, stocking, or garter belts? Panty, stocking, or garter belts? Panties. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> Chuck. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna ask a panda a question. What you wanna know? Can I have your babies? <laughs> Joan? Can the panda have your babies? No. Sorry. I'll give you Kyle's babies. <laughs> Take them. Pan pa pandas and humans can't have babies. That's, that's, that's actually true. <laughs> I'm dried up. You look awesome. What's your question? Favorite anime. Favorite anime. Uh, Josh. Dragon Ball Z. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Trent. Do I have to say your name? Cool, Damien. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me get you that. that. Let me get you that. Okay. That's my favorite anime. That moment is my favorite anime. You guys don't know what we're doing, but it's fucking beautiful. Thank uh, you. It's like Christian Bale and Eric Johnson had a kid. <laughs> right? She turns his fucking lights on! Turn the lights on! Oh, that's right. You changed your name to Vale because, like, yeah, you know, he changed his name to Vale. Why did you do that again? Um, Come on, favorite anime, Damien. What, what channel are you? Uh, FMA. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop. Ooh, Bebop. All right, what's your question? Who's the best magical girl? Eric. <laughs> yes, me. No, that was my answer. Yes, you. Right. Eric and I agree that he is the best magical girl. Anybody else? No one should argue with that. No, they shouldn't. We're going to move on because that's absolutely true. Uh, did I ask you a question? No, ask a question. If y'all were stuck in a deserted island, all the characters are on it, who would you eat? <laughs> who would you eat? You're stuck on a deserted island with, your, uh, with the other... Okay, now was it only us that are stuck? Uh, the four or five of us? All, okay, all of Dragon Ball Z is sitting on a deserted island. You gotta eat one of them. Boo. 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 Turns into yeah, cookies, Boo's got right? the most meat. Yeah. No, but if we eat him, he can't turn crap into chocolate. That's right. It's a thing, man. You gotta, you gotta be pragmatic. So we have here. to start an autograph session really Bola. soon. Really soon. We could, we could get a few more lightning rounds, I guess. Okay, we'll get a few more. What's your question? Favorite Dragon Ball Z game? I'm gonna say Xenoverse myself. <laughs> Budokai. Ooh, Budokai's good. I like Budokai. And last question. Last question is going to go to you. You got really excited, so it's going to be you. Here, what's your question? Who's your waifu? Who is our waifu? I'm sorry, sir. You open the door, and your mom comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Who is what? Our favorite waifu. What anime character do you want to be all intimate with? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Someone you want to get with. Yeah. 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 Faye Valentine. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. I know she's not really an anime character technically, but I figured if we draw her as an anime character, and then I could say this is Scarlett Johansson. I mean, I think that's legit. She's fucking hot. Isn't waifu a kind of beef? Wagyu. Wagyu. When you can get a sick Wagyu is my wife. Can, can I trade in my answer to get the beef instead? <laughs> Moo? No. We're moving on from that. That guy just said Trunks likes the meat. <laughs> All right, Josh, did you answer? I think we should wrap it up on that and fucking question. That was awesome. All right, we're finishing with Josh. Who's your anime waifu? 4,000 points. Thank you! Thank you for coming to our Q&A.